We're live. So welcome everyone to the third Economic and Industry Development Committee meeting for 2021. I can see that all councillors are in attendance. There's no apologies. And there's no declarations of interest on the agenda today from anyone. Looking at item one, which is a confirmation of the minutes from the last Economic and Industry Development Committee. Um, so the I'll recommend... To receive the note, those. Sweet. Do we have a seconder? I'll second. Thank you, Councillor Kunzelman. And the vote for that is unanimous. Wonderful. So our in, um, committee is shifting it up a little bit today. So we are looking at a presentation um, for the upcoming uh, Small Business Month next month, which we're very excited about. Um, the gentleman from both the chambers, Phil Bell and Neil Copland, were supposed to come in to present um, what wonderful events are coming up in the month of May for our small business and the industries of um, Ipswich, but obviously they are very busy men. So um, in their place, we have the fabulous Kat Madsen and Ralph Bearden here to um, take us on the journey. So if you could come down, Miss Madsen, that would be amazing. Thank you. Good morning, Chair, Mayor. Afternoon. afternoon. It's actually afternoon. <laughs> um, and councillors. Uh, Kat Matson, Manager of Community and Eco Economic and Community Development. Um, there is no PowerPoint or presentation for this. This is a verbal update. Before I get started, though, I did want to explain the role of a presentation as distinct to a formal committee um, report to committee, because I believe it's probably one of the first ones that we've done with mm. this administration. Committee reports, as you would know, have a significant time frame. There are formal report that comes up to the committees. Um, they don't give us the opportunity to report the dynamic information that is, for example, Queensland Small Business Month, that where quite literally <laughs> the timetable is changing on a day-by-day -day basis. So a presentation is a more informal conversation. It's more of an opportunity for us to engage and have question and answer with you as the councillors, as well as providing information that can't be provided in the time frames that a committee report is um, created. As Councillor Jonick said, yes, we did have the presidents of the Chambers of Commerce, Greater Springfield and Ipswich Region uh, Chamber of Commerce lined up to speak today. Um, as the um, committee agendas have flowed today, we recognise that we couldn't have the gentlemen away from their businesses for that long and unfortunately they had other commitments this afternoon so they weren't able to join us. The reason that we wanted to bring them in was twofold. One was to give you an update on the general business um, sentiment in the community post-COVID, as well as to give you an overview of Queensland Small Business Month activities, which we are partnering with both chambers in line with our ongoing partnership agreement with them. Um, Ralph's going to talk momentarily about the event calendar. Um, the event calendar is substantial. I think at last count we have an event every day in May for Queensland Small Business Month. But in terms of just a general pulse check, if you like, um, from a COVID perspective, possibly the biggest thing that is still affecting our local businesses is the financial stress. As I mentioned in the community development um, committee meeting in response to the applications that we've received for small business uh, for the small business recovery funding. Um, lockdowns imposed on short notice, uh, the uncertainty of COVID restrictions still place our local businesses under a decent amount of financial stress. Businesses, especially events and hospitality, are of course suffering the hardest, uh, the greatest hardship, and we are seeing some local businesses liquidating assets, putting off staff, um, and having to completely change the way they operate. One of our chambers uh, tells us of a small business that suffered a direct $10,000 a day hit per day to the bottom line during the last lockdown. Um, the other issue in that context, of course, then is moral and mental stress. Um, staff and teams, particularly who are now coming off the job keeper, are facing that uncertainty of whether or not the business owners can maintain their businesses and whether their incomes are going to be um, secure. Both the Chambers love their partnership with us as Ipswich City Council, which is pretty exciting because we love that partnership as well. Um, Neil in particular said to me this morning, 
There is no way that we could do what we now do without the support of Ipswich City Council. I'm extraordinarily proud that we get to work in such close partnership with the Chambers who are able to do the work of building capability and capacity for our local businesses in a far more effective way than we could ourselves. Um, the Shop Ipswich partnership has been one of the highlights for Phil at the Ipswich Region Chamber of Commerce with more than 260 businesses leveraging the Shop Ipswich brand. We've also hosted some regional information sessions, including one at Rosewood, which, as Mayor and Chair would remember, provide, uh, provided a great opportunity for some high engagement with the local businesses in those areas. I'm not going to steal the thunder on the events, so I might invite Ralph down to speak to that. Um, the only other thing I wanted to highlight is we got late notice two days ago about a business event being hosted where the um, Senator Honourable Jane Hume, who's the Federal Minister for Financial Services, Superannuation and the Digital Economy, that breakfast has already sold out with 80 tickets. So there is obviously an appetite for small businesses to get back together, to network, to learn um, and to come together again and um, quite literally enjoy the, what's the word, the companionship of fellow business owners. So I might bring Ralph to down, down to talk about the events that we've got planned for Small Business Month. Thanks, Ms. Manson. Good afternoon. Ralph Breeden, uh, Local Business and Economic um, Development. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. As uh, Kat Batson was saying before, we have a, a raft of activities planned for Queensland Small Business Month. Um, way over 30 and there'll be other ones that will be added in due course as well. I think there's some hesitancy out there as we can expect. Mm -hmm. Obviously with the recent lockdowns and the continued lockdowns, the uncertainty that creates, there will still be some uh, events that will come up that will add to the calendar. It's a very fluid thing but we're more than happy to add events. We're urging all small businesses across the city of Ipswich to participate, join in, particularly those that have never experienced any of the uh, events for the Chambers or ours or anything else. Now's the time more so than ever to get out there. And uh, with that, that's why we are very focused in on drawing out 30 different events. So we're very pleased to say that uh, Tuesday, May, May the 4th, will be the uh, first event. The uh, Small Business Commissioner will be in town, uh, along with the Mayor and uh, various councillors and uh, everyone else from uh, as many people as we can get on board from Ipswich to this particular event. It will be the launch of our calendar of activities for the, for the month ahead, which will be very pleasing. Um, then after that, we've also got the uh, Greater Springfield Chamber of Commerce will have their pop-up stands. So between the, uh, the 10th to the 16th of May, the full week, there'll be uh, pop-up stands. Basically, a small business can hire a stand for a couple of hours uh, allocated to them and have their business front and centre in, the, in the Orion Town Centre there. So they'll be able to advertise their where. It's a great initiative by the Greater Springfield Chamber of Commerce and one we're very happy to support. Uh, the Ipswich Region Chamber of Commerce, as Kat was saying before, is the 28th and the 29th of May. The Small Business Commissioner will be back in Ipswich. We will ask her to move in here, I should think. And uh, she'll be talking about, um, you know, what's happening in, uh, obviously, with uh, some of the Small Business Commissioner areas that she's been looking at, and she'll be launching along with our Mayor as well. So that's 100 stands. So that's going to be a magnificent event for small businesses of Ipswich to basically sell business to business and also to the general public as well. But not only that, they'll be able to educate, they'll be able to learn and, and grow their particular businesses through the exchanges. And there'll also be a small business networking function on that evening. And you'll be pleased to know, particularly Councillor Madsen, that uh, small business friendly food trucks will be uh, uh, providing the catering for that particular event over those two days. <laughs> Um, so there is a lot of activities going on for the, for the month of May and one we're very happy and proud to support. Uh, from our perspective in the local business team, we'd particularly like to acknowledge uh, Layla, Mandy and Renee from their respective chambers have been fantastic and continue to be uh, outstanding in the work that they do and we're more than happy and proud to support them, support the business of Ipswich. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr Bearden. Um, just on the topic of the shop Ipswich, I'm one of the ambassadors for the, um, the Ipswich Chamber and at their last meeting uh, they were looking at signing on average two to three um, small businesses per day up to, um, to that 
um, Shop in Ipswich campaign, which is a free platform um, for businesses to um, jump onto their website and promote their products. So that's um, that's actually a good take up, I believe, for something mm. that's not too heavily promoted at this stage, and it's got. Um, and yeah, so I think that coming out of COVID and the lockdowns that we have gone in or into during Easter, then come back out of um, coming into the small business month, I think it's going to be a celebration for all the small businesses to get together and start to network again. So um, everyone's probably going to hear and get sick of the word small business in Ipswich probably after the month Never. of May. But <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for our community to um, to have a month about them, all the small business mm. owners. So thank you very much to Miss um, Madsen and Mr Bearden for their time today in the presentation. Um, any other discussions? Have we moved and seconded? Or? Do we move and second? Oh, oh, I can't remember. The presentation will be received and moved. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Can I get a seconder? Second. Thank you, Mayor. Um, was there any discussion? Um, Chair, I know that you work very closely with... Neil Coupon, the chair of the Greater Springfield Chamber, and also Phil Bell. The, um, are you having any feedback from them on, I guess, as we come out of, you know, the lockdown finished again t this morning at six o'clock, which is fantastic. Are you getting any feedback from them on how businesses are travelling? Or I think there's just that sense of uneasiness still. So, mm -hmm. um, thing obviously with the end of JobKeeper, um, you know, CBA and Westpac looking at like going back into taking away mortgage relief, things like that, when everything rolled out last March, March mm. 2020. So there is still that uncertainty in the air um, for small business and things can change at the drop of a dime. So people are really, um, they're hyper aware. Small businesses generally have a small bit profit margin. Mm -hmm. So there is not this grand scale to... Oh, you know, for instance, not many small businesses owners take holidays yeah. so before COVID. So there, there isn't this margin for flexibility as much um, in that arena. So I guess they're just really hypersensitive. So um, we just have to be there to support them and um, listen to what they need. And I think that the Chambers and um, our ECDEV department are doing a fantastic job. Mm. And I also chair with your other hat with the leading the task force with down in Springfield Lakes and, and, and the rest of Ipswich with the, with the hailstorm recovery. I guess I, I'm sort of looking at with COVID that's really tested people's emotional resilience. I wasn't sure how it was going in in your backyard in Division Two and how people are coping with, with yeah with COVID mm. in the. It's a um, it's a with, funny with um, I guess looking at different demographics. Yeah. Um, so obviously I was spent a lot of time in Springfield Lakes mm. with the task force um, and there was damage in Thaguna and Rosewood and Willow Bank. But um, getting feedback from the charities and the community organisations about um, people really hitting the limit before they ask for assistant, okay. assistance in cer certain demographics, which mm. has come to... Um, come to the surface in the likes of Springfield Lakes and Springfield Central. People are not generally, have never been in that situation and never had to ask for help before, yeah. so they don't even know where to start or it could be a shame process. So that was one of the biggest things that come out to me mm -hmm. as part of that task force. Um, people are really getting pushed to breaking point um, and, they, and they don't need to have gone that far. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, just to you, Chair, I, I'm excited to get on the hype train of Small Business Month. <laughs> I think that there will be a real swell of excitement around that and a perfect opportunity for us to remind all of our residents to shop local, buy local and get out there and support the local economy. So I think that's a narrative that we can all get around and, you know, if the worst thing is that they're sick of those three words by the end of the month, you know, at least we did all we could to make sure that we were sus supporting small business. Mm. Thank uh, you. I think, Chair, I just want to thank you for your stewardship of the economic and industry development activities. I know the, the, a lot of the work that's going on for Small Business Month and some of the exciting things, which I want to announce now, that you've, you know, thank you for your stewardship of things. I think it'll be a really exciting month. You've been very busy, obviously. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Any further discussion? No. And a vote? Did we... Sorry, did I take the vote? All those... In
I don't know if you've already done a presentation, but we're going to. Excellent. Yes. Um, wonderful. So that meeting is closed. Now officially at 1.37 with the next meeting due at 1.50. Thank you. Thank you.